What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I don't know how well I'm gonna do uh, keeping this video short. I'm gonna do my best. Uh, that's the goal. This is my third attempt doing this video, and the other videos was just way too long. So I'm gonna do my best, all right? Uh, guys, this video is gonna be about 300 blackout and 300 blackout subs, uh, specifically grind hard ammunition, 300 blackout, 194 grain, subsonic ammunition and uh this stuff is pretty cool um i know a lot of people are going to be like man hold up i could have swore up and down you were talking about how much you don't like subsonic ammunition why now i'm going to show you guys i'm going to show you guys exactly why i'm using it uh this is the bullet right here and the projectile which probably won't go into focus right now uh but anyways uh Guys, this is wild. Uh, I've been out uh, hunting this ranch for like 19 years. And just recently, the folks next door uh, started seeing some, some problems with pigs and they're tired of it. Uh, they're not destroying the ground or any type of crop damage because they're not, they don't have any crops. This is, this is horse country right here where I'm at. High dollar horses. And one of the very first things they brought up was you can hunt in here. But you got to be careful with the horses. And I said, don't don't you worry about that. I'll, I'll do everything I can to be careful. So the first time I came in here, I found the pigs that they were talking about. And they were right along the road, just exactly where they said they were at all the time. They like to be in the in the, in the the ranch. They like to be behind the houses. They like to be by the loafing sheds. They like to be around the horses. They like to be with the cows. They're everywhere. But it's never a good shooting situation. And uh, anyways, uh, I came up on them with a buddy of mine and at least 15 to 20 of them was working their way into this easement. And you guys are gonna see the footage. I was using my 6.5 Creedmoor and I was able to hit two on right there. And it literally lasted maybe two or three seconds and probably not even that. And they were gone. And one of the very first things that I noticed about that 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 hunt was this is, this is a little bit too much gun, uh, you know the pass-throughs. It's something a lot of people don't talk much about. I will. Uh, pass-throughs happen and they happen a lot. Uh, I've never had an accident with pass-throughs, but I can easily see how it's happened and I know it's happened in the past with other folks. Um, when you're around a lot of pipe and cable, like me, I'm around a lot of pipe and cable, uh, some real nice gates. Uh, there's a lot of structures, there's houses, there's animals. It's a little sketch with that uh with the supersonic ammunition and the first thing that came to my mind was you know what it's going to be a slow process but i'm gonna have to come in here with the 300 blackout subsonic so the next attempt i come in here sure enough i found the pigs again in the same spot similar you know like right there in that area and uh i popped one with the subsonic subsonic ammunition right right in the eyeball and uh she was coming right towards me and immediately you guys are going to see the pigs running off towards the cows and right behind those cows is the head rancher's house and uh the next day i told him about the pig that i shot and what i was seeing and i showed him the footage and he was like i had no idea there was that many that close to my house and i was like yeah and he says keep doing what you're doing again be careful with the horses he didn't say anything about the cows and i'm still going to be careful with the cows but the horses are it's that's that's big money for this ranch that's how they that's how this ranch thrives is with the horses so uh you guys don't even want to know the dollar amount uh i'm seeing with some of these horses and if i was to bring somebody in here and they were shooting supers and they're just getting trigger happy and wanting to dump on these pigs while they're running uh, I, I guarantee you we're going to hear about it and we're going to pay for it. It's not going to be good. So I'm extremely happy that I have my hands on the subsonic ammunition because this is exactly where it belongs. So I've been out here several times and I've been seeing them and I'll lose them and then I find them and I'll get in a good shooting position. And I'll get a good clean shot. And uh, you guys are only going to see a handful of kills. But just recently, my daughter showed interest in hunting. I don't know what triggered it. I didn't question it and I said, let's do it. She's 13 years old. And one thing I've never done with my kids is, is push what I love to do on them. If they see it and they show interest, I do everything I can to support them with it and and, and help them and teach them and, and safety and all that. And my daughter has been talking about it for a long time, going back and forth and we've been practicing. I got a 
AR 500 steel target that's shaped like a hog and I got her practicing on it and she's been practicing headshots like crazy and I'm like hey what more power to you you know go for the headshots I don't care that's good shot and uh anyways I, she got to the point where i know i could trust her you know where she listens and uh she got her first hog over here and uh she, she got it with the subsonic ammunition the 300 blackout it was a good headshot and you're gonna see a small little group of piglets running off and i had no idea there was two other groups around us there was another group about 100 yards away that was running and there was another group that ran right out in front of us after that video uh, and she was like, do I just keep shooting? And I was like, no, nah, just leave them alone. I was like, I'll, I'll come back in here and I'll, I'll work them, you know, uh, one by one if I have to, but, uh, such a cool experience with her to be able to share what I love to do all the time. And she got to have that experience too. And one of the very first things that she said was that, that gun's quiet. And I was like, yeah, she's never shot the 300 blackout sub. She's always, she always shoot my 223 or the 762 by 39. She does not like the bolt guns. And uh, I got her on the PWS. I'll pull it out real quick. It's the PWS MK109 with the YHM resonator. MK109 CMC two and a half pound single stage with the Alpha on it. This is the IRA Alpha 640. Such a such a sweet little rig here. Um, this back down back there but uh that's what i'm using and what i'm using to spot is my helmet so this is a team wendy xfl uh we've got my battery pack on the back msa swordens ear pro we have a princeton light here um and dual mh25s with the wilcox um mount and the rqe bridge what i've already talked about this setup but folks are always curious to what i'm using as far as a helmet and that is my helmet setup. This is how I'm spotting them. I'm driving down the road in my buggy and I'm looking for pigs. And as soon as I see them, I get set up. I flip my dual MH-25s up and I use my thermal optic on my weapon to engage on uh, the pig. So that's my setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in the buggy. We're gonna drive over to the neighboring ranch and I want you guys to see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you're gonna see structures. You're gonna see that fancy uh, pipe and cable everywhere. You're gonna see some of the horses. There's breeding mares, there's some fillies out there. There's, I don't think there's any studs running around and there's a ton of cattle. And what's really weird, uh, it's not weird, that's what they do. But during the day, they go out and they graze and they play and they hang out, you know? And then at nighttime, they come up and they congregate close to where the loafing sheds, the barn and where they feed. That's where they hang out and that's where they sleep most of the time. And guess what? that's where the pigs are. So uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about and then I'll share the footage with you guys. So I'm out here and I've seen some buzzards flying off and I was like, uh-oh, that lets me know that there's something dead out here that I didn't recover and look. I came up on a small group and uh, I picked off three and it looks like there was a fourth one that I did not recover. So kind of frustrates me because I like to do my recoveries and know exactly what I've been hitting but anyways guys um, you can see the horses are right here uh, they're hanging out these this is a group of fillies here we have a bunch of cows right over here you can see the big old barn uh, arena over there you can see these cows are everywhere there's piping cable everywhere um, in the video, you're gonna see me, I'm standing back over there, um, probably about 50, 60 yards, shooting in this direction. And I, people are gonna think there's a structure in the background, there isn't. If there was, I'm shooting at subsonic, so it's not gonna travel and punch through any type of metal. Uh, but it's actually a burn pile. It's actually that burn pile right there, and it looks like a structure, but it's not. It's a burn pile. Uh, but anyways, um, can't believe that fourth one was right there because I recovered one right there and I recovered another one right back over here in this area. And uh, you guys are going to see the clips of them getting hit. And uh, man, that, that pisses me off. And again, folks, it's nothing bad, but at least it shows signs that they're here. And those are the signs right here. You can see exactly where they've been digging. So they're right up along the road. Uh, but what's really cool is this is where my daughter got her pig. Uh, we was driving down the road 
I spotted him and I said, we got to jump the fence. So we jumped the corner right over here, got in here about a good 30, 40 yards. There was a sow that had her head down right here. We didn't have anything in the background, no animals, no structures. She pulled the trigger, perfect headshot at about 40, 45 yards. Sow dropped and then you see the rest of the pigs working their way back down. They're coming in and out of the neighbor's property right over there that nobody really hunts. And uh, these pigs are just working themselves back and forth here. And the food source, I know a lot of people are like, what is it? You know, there's nothing out here. If you look down on the ground, it's all these little acorns right here. Get this, there we go. You see it here all in the ground. And that's what they're wanting, which blows my mind because a lot of this stuff has been sitting on the ground for months. Uh, but they're a scavenger for food and that's what they want. Check this out, look how green the grass is still. They was just in here last night. I bet they were in here last night. <sighs> So I'm just going to do my best. What's up, boy? And this is what you got to be careful with. You got to be careful with these horses. And another thing, too, is not necessarily hitting them, uh, but also spooking them. And whenever these horses are, they're something else, man. But whenever some of them spook, they just take off in a full sprint. And it's pitch black out here, guys. They might run into a tree branch. They might run into a bob wire. Who knows? And injure themselves. So whenever I'm shooting those subs... These guys don't even spook. They're just chill. And they're just coming up here to say hi. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? And then we got another building up there. All right. You guys are wanting to show out for YouTube. <laughs> they're all coming. Hey, hey, you gonna nibble on my arm? <laughs> Headed over to the backside of the ranch on the property line. I can already see some pig damage right here. And this is, this is where I was shooting the supers in the 6.5 Creedmoor guys. And these pigs were working their way through this little, I call it an easement. Um, this gate right here, they were in here some of them were in here you couldn't see it in the video but some of them were in here and some of them were also on the other side of this and they just worked themselves right underneath this fence and that's when i took the shot and the second shot was right before i got to the cable and you could see them go underneath it and run they're coming and going from the back side of the property line over there and i can see buzzers up in the sky right now which tells me there could be uh there could be more death back there it could have been a wounded one that uh that drug itself all the way back over there. But anyways, this is where they like to be, especially in that back corner. They're coming in. It's the weirdest thing. Instead of coming in from that corner and working their way all the way up this road to do whatever they want to do, uh, they like to come in. They work that fence line right over there. They come up on that back side right over there. It's really hard to tell. With it, right at my fingertips where that light is hitting the pasture, and they work their way up that way. But for some reason, I never actually see them in here, where, but there's signs now that they're in there. I'm gonna come check it tonight. Uh, but pretty wild, guys. Uh, they got hog traps out here. I don't think these things are working anymore. Um, it's just, uh, you know, you get one or two in there and that's it, you know? And they got another one right up there and you can actually see some pig damage right around it, right there in the grass. Pretty crazy. In the buggy i got love hate relationship with horses and this is one thing i hate about horses you leave a vehicle your buggy anything a four-wheeler the seats the paint everything will get chewed up
little one did it. My little one did it. Is the rifle safe? Yeah. My little one did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm talking about, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Beautiful shot, girl. My little one did it. Her first pig. You hear how quiet that gun is? Yeah. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, I know there's a lot of videos out there with 300 blackout subs, but I'm showing you exactly how I use it, especially with the hogs. Uh, it has its place. It's great for home defense. It's great for close quarters, whatever. Uh, it's good for your, uh, it, to have a truck gun, you know. Uh, it has its place. It's not my go-to setup. I'm not saying, hey, go buy this ammunition. Go buy a... Uh, MK109 and go shoot hogs. Now I'm not saying nothing like that. Uh, I'm just letting you know how it's been beneficial for me. And I've been waiting for this opportunity because there's been a lot of times I've taken the rig out and we come up on a group of 15 to 20 pigs and I'm standing here with the, the 300 blackout subs and I'm like, I fucked up. <laughs> I already know I did. And as soon as those pigs, when we get in, engaged on them and they start running and they start getting around that 80 to 100 plus yards, I'm just lobbing basketballs and there's not enough energy to, to even slow them down. They just keep running off. So it has its place, you know, it has its place. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a, I had just a hunt last night with a good friend of mine, uh, Joey with Therm Thermal Outfitters and he had his buddy out there, uh, Justin. And he says, he doesn't, he doesn't do Instagram. And he says, man, when are you going to do another video? And that's what you're talking about. He says, YouTube. And I was like, damn. This dude's following my YouTube channel and he's waiting. And uh, it, it, it really, it kind of bothered me because it was like, man, you know what? There's a lot of people out there that enjoy the content and I'm not delivering it. And I've been talking about this for a really long time, how I'm going to do this. And you know what? We're just going to keep it short and simple like I'm doing right here, kind of like a vlog. And, uh, you know, take you guys along the journey, you know? Uh, I want to get back out to East Texas and hook up with my buddy Joey. I want you guys to see this operation that he's got going on it's a lot of fun but some of the country that he hunts is just jaw dropping guys i know a lot of folks enjoy what i'm hunting around out here but you have no idea what i'm seeing in east texas i've always thought east texas pines and real thick woods and it's like that but 
there is also some beautiful country out in East Texas. We'll go out there and check that out here real soon. Again, guys, thanks for all the support, and I will see you in the next video.